So let's go ahead and come over to Inventor. On the quick start menu, start a new IPT. Once we have a new IPT, as with every part, we'll start a new sketch. Start that sketch on the XY plane. I prefer that because vertical is vertical and horizontal is horizontal. We'll click on that. Then on the sketch tab, under the rectangle tool, if you click the drop down menu below the rectangle tool, you'll see that we have a sketching tool that allows us to create a polygon with up to 120 sides. So we'll go ahead and click on polygon and we'll input six sides for a hexagon. Your first click to creating a polygon is the center point. So we'll lock that to the origin and then we'll draw out our hexagon. With another click, we establish our hexagon. Now, the first thing I want to do is take out the ability of the hexagon to rotate. So my hexagon can not only grow like so, but it can also rotate as a degree of freedom. So we'll use the vertical constraint and we'll vertically constrain this apex over the origin and that will take away a degree of freedom. Now we can right click general dimension and as your drawing shows our dimension is half the nominal diameter from the center point to the point. So with two clicks we can create that. And I'm going to pretend that I am using a two inch nominal diameter so one inch is half of that diameter so that's the dimension for my cam. Now I'll go ahead and hit E because I'm fully constrained and E is my shortcut key for extrude. We'll finish the sketch and put me into extrude. All of our cams are 3 16 thick. Remember, Inventor loves math, so we'll input 3 16 and let it do the math to figure out what the decimal equivalent of 3 16 is. Then we'll start another sketch to create the hole in the center on the face. Once we're here, we're going to learn a new command. So we're going to use a point, and we're going to place a point at the origin, which is also the center of our cam because of the way we created it. Once we've put that point in, if you go to dimension, you'll notice it's fully constrained because that point is on the origin. It's hard to see, but that point is actually there if I highlight it. So we'll finish the sketch, and there you can see your point. Now we're going to come up under the 3D modeling tab under the modify panel and go to the hole command. We like to create smart holes in our classroom, not dumb holes, so we'll use the hole command. Uh, right now it doesn't afford us a whole lot of benefit in this particular project, but getting in the habit of creating holes with the hole command will benefit us later down the road. You can see it's already in from sketch mode and has already selected that center. And all we have to do is change the diameter if it doesn't default already to a quarter of an inch and change our type to through all. Hit OK and our hex cam is done.